Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let's see who this is going to be for. Uh, Taurus. Taurus. We're going to do Taurus. <clears throat> Week one of July. <clears throat> Actually, sorry about that. It's going to be week two. Okay. Week two of July. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. <clears throat> week two. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> My goodness. <sighs> okay. So <clears throat> I feel like you're trying to follow a situation here. You're trying to pick up on something. You, you laid the weight down. You were tired of fighting, arguing. I want to say not getting your way, but not in a not in a snotty way. It was like fighting for what you wanted, right? Something not panning out. Listen to your gut. To me, this is there's a secret. There's still something here that you're unaware of, and I'm sure you're already currently aware of that not taking a risk because whatever this is regarding it's risky like at first you wanted it or for a while you've wanted it nine months nine weeks so you're not you're not putting the energy into something that's a given Yeah, you got, right now, I kind of feel with the Ten of Swords reverse, you're pissed off about something. Pissed, aggravated, defeated. It's an ending. Um, you're not accepting it or somebody else is not accepting it. But this is like, don't give up, don't fight. That's what the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands represents, right? Like, not giving up. You've been through battle. Like, you're stepping forward. You got your wand. But this is a battle. There was some type of cycle here. And I, I, I feel like you wanted something simple in a relationship or a situationship. And you, you didn't even get simple. And it's because they're keeping something from you. So I don't know if someone pushed away from you. You pushed away from them. <clears throat> but right now, you laid the weight down. Like, you, it's one less burden. I don't know. In a way, it was like you were holding on to baggage. And I don't even like that word. Because to me, it's telling me the, there's just a, a simple thing that you wanted. Probably somebody to care, to nurture, to ground something. And now it's like you're not putting the effort in. Taking care of yourself. So either you or someone else is letting go of a situation. So there was, there was something else interfering. And you were probably unaware of it. Or you were aware of it. And it's like tick tock, tick tock, let's go, what are you doing? Yeah, see, you still, it's, it's still unknown, okay? So you're going to find out, though. There's still things going on behind the scenes. You could be emotional. It could be emotional communication coming in that has to do with the emotions. It could have been something you were unaware of because there's a secret. As of right now, you drop the weight, though.
So it's like whatever you're communicating, whatever you wanted, some new start, fresh start, um, a conversation, whatever it was, it's like you're no longer putting energy and effort into it. And it looks like you made the right move, honestly, because there's still something being kept from you. Whatever it was, was unhealthy. Okay. Um, it's an attachment. It's, it's just an unhealthy attachment. So it looks like you're letting go. I, I still think you're dealing with somebody, though, that does not want to accept that you stepped out of a scenario and you dropped the weight. Let's see what your possible outcome is. So you have a masculine here, okay, a masculine figure, figure. King of Pencil can be a, a feminine, all right, um, moving forward, <clears throat> wanting an apology, wanting a second chance, um, I just got the word redeterminating. Got a court couple here too, so it could have been an unhealthy, you know, um, relationship, marriage. If that's the case, something was still being kept from her. It, it's, she, it's like she has no idea, you know, there's there's something coming at her. Yeah, there was some type of interference when it came to your happiness, your pleasure, what you wanted. But this, this is, this is different. This is somebody who's actually, this is somebody who's moving forward, <clears throat> wants forgiveness or wants a second chance, no longer wants to deal with the interference, wants to cut it out, wants their happiness. So it's, it's pretty much the same scenario I just read. A more or less like right here. Because to me, it's, I wouldn't fight for this. It doesn't look like something I would, you know, the tower came out. Yeah, see, it's, it's not something I would fight for either. See, if you're going in a certain direction, things look better. You have the wheel here. You could have been dealing with something karmic. Some of you could have been following your Akashic records. Now you're like, bam, I'm done. Again, the Empress wanted to come out. So it's it's a feminine that didn't want doesn't want to accept that something's over. Or this is you just holding yourself in really high standards. Yeah, no, see this is being bent out of shape. This is wanting to win at all costs. This is wanting to I want what I want. I want it now. It is it's like that snotty energy from um I want it now, like from um the golden egg, the golden ticket, really wonk on the chocolate factory. This is somebody who is wanting to win and not winning, was continuously fighting for something to go in that direction, her direction. You have a feminine not accepting. If this was upright, it'd be like, all right, this is somebody finally accepting a situation, but she, she's not accepting. That something's over. So you have another energy here. <clears throat> so either she wanted to move forward. Secret could have been being kept from her, from you. Both could be earth signs. You could be dealing with the Pisces here. You have somebody that's been watching you with this situation over here and is stressed out. You have somebody that's stressed out that you laid the weight down. I don't think it's linked to that energy. You could. This could be someone... I feel like this is more of a secret, but if this is an energy of the collective, like you guys, no, it's more of a secret. Pretty hurt, bent out of shape, not wanting to see things. This, Yeah, this is somebody who wants to kind of win at all costs, not winning, not being victorious, still wanting to fight, not accepting some things over. Um... <clears throat> but it, there was something clearly unhealthy here. And the, you have an energy here that I can't tell if it's the same one or not, but I will tell you it is still something, if you're the one that's like, all right, I'm done. I'm not putting energy and effort into this. Like, there's obviously clearly too much going on. You know there's something going on here. 
you're still unaware with the moon. Okay, you do have communication coming in. So if you're not talking to this energy, if you ask me, it doesn't look like you're talking or you won't be shortly. Um, you're just not putting energy and effort into it anymore. But somebody's keeping an eye on you. That is for sure. And whoever is keeping their eye on you is is stressed out because they know you let go or you're on the verge of letting go. So there was obviously some type of interference, whether it was a wife, a mother, monarchy, an aunt, just nosy Nelly, you know. Um, but the interference is going to be wiped. Somebody wants, you know, their happiness. They don't want to deal with interference anymore. They don't want to deal with bullshit. Yeah, this is going in a new direction. It's like no second chances when it comes to the interference. I'm not manifesting with you. I'm manifesting elsewhere. You know, a new idea, a new thought, a new wave of energy. So you got a masculine that's that's nervous to reach out. So again, you both could be earth. This is a different scenario. This is somebody who wouldn't give up. This is somebody who battled, battled, battles. This is somebody who wanted to win. You have somebody dropping the weight. You have another energy that completely let go of it. You do have communication coming in. Right now, they're just kind of like watching you. Someone's really upset about how something went down or it's bent out of shape, just more focused on things they shouldn't be focused on. But the energy is going to shift this week. Let me just see what the Ace of Wands is real quick. The Fool. So this is, this is a new opportunity to take a simpler route. A lot more contentment. Okay, so you are starting a new journey. You are starting something new. Right now, like I said, you just you don't see it. You just don't see it coming. So whether it's with yourself or somebody else, you know, you're starting new. You're starting fresh. I also feel like you have another energy here that's watching you start new and start fresh. Okay, I was just going to keep going, but um, I will save that for Patreon, so I hope you guys have an awesome week. Something else I keep seeing. You got love coming in, okay? New opportunity for love. See, some of you, this is self-worth, self-love, self-respect. Your energy shifting. You're taking another route. And then you got someone coming at you. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. Fool can represent an Aries. Or Pisces sometimes. All right, I'll see you guys on Patreon. Love you guys. Bye.